Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and today I've got super exciting news to share with you guys. We went ahead and upgraded the S1 to do metal. We've uh, officially got the 2 watt infrared laser head installed and then I also upgraded it so you have the extended base option underneath. Um, and then in a future video I plan on doing rotary uh, engravings such as these cups here in the future as well now that we have the base to put the rotary in. So I bought that special plug from the M1 to the S1 con conversion there. So th that'll be in a future video, but with all that out of the way, we can officially do metal. That's super exciting. Um, we started with this lighter color after I found out some settings that I thought was gonna work. This turned out to be a little bit too light on the black coloring, but the blue was pretty good. So we went ahead and increased the power on the black and it turned out perfect like this. Uh, I'll go ahead and share some photos of all of this as well as I'm talking. So you'll see all the overlays of the photos of everything I'm talking about today. Um, with all that said, as you could see, the lighter um, engraving came out a little bit too light and I think the card had a slight warp to it. So I kind of bent it back in place and then did the other side with that darker setting. But to find those settings, you wanna do a test grid. If you don't know what that it is, Xtool has an array button in the top left corner. You'll click on that and in the drop down there'll be like a test grid print. And it looks something like this. Once again, I'll throw up a photo of a better example so you can see this. And then based on the lighting, um, so hopefully I can get a good photo of this, but based on the lighting and the angle that you're looking at these colors, it may look solid black in one direction, but spot on, like dead on, it'll look blue or whatever color you've seen in those photos. Um, so just a heads up on that, lighting conditions will matter too when somebody's looking at it. Uh, and then on that back side, I did another test engraving, so I can try and dial in the settings a little bit more. I think I still have to do some more to get it perfectly dialed in how I want it. But uh, overall, that's something that you'll wanna do with every type of uh, product or design that you're going to be working with is always run a test grid so always buy at least two so you can get the perfect settings. Um, with that said I did another test grid on this other um, stainless steel metal. I don't think this one's truly stainless steel like the other one was um, so I ran another test grid to be safe and the settings are slightly different. Um, it could be a I think this is a 205 rating of stainless steel where those cards were a 305. I could be getting those numbers wrong, but with all that said, uh, you do wanna run test, gra uh, test engrave um, set settings for each type of material that you're gonna be using just to be safe. I'll go ahead and throw up a video, or not a video, but a photo of an engraving that I did on these um, for a, a, fr a couple friends. Um, you'll see the black and blue coloring on that as well. I did the text in blue, the, the bear in black. So that turned out really great. One last thing that I wanted to share with you guys that I didn't do in this video yet. I might make a whole separate video on it or I may just share a post on my Facebook um, uh, group. So go ahead and follow that if you haven't. But I'm super excited to start engraving my own coins. So these are like solid stainless steel coins. They have the ridges on the sides and then it comes with these plastic casings too, like challenge coins. So you can make your own coins. This is gonna be awesome. I'm just trying to dial in settings using these other materials first and then hopefully I won't waste a coin, but I wanna give it a shot with my best estimated guess at the start because these are a little bit more expensive. But uh, I'll go ahead and put links to all, all three of these down below so you guys can make it on your own. And if you're gonna end up getting an S1, um, I'll try and share all my settings that I found. But just keep in mind that settings can vary based on machine, the power, how long you've had the machine, etc. So just a heads up on that. But <laughs> with all that out of the way, if you are going to end up getting an S1 or um, a different, uh, laser engraver in the future. I'll put links down below for all of those uh, lasers. So uh, we have like affiliate links. It'll help the the channel as well. Um, if not, that's okay too. But I really appreciate all your guys' support. Uh, thanks for checking out the video and we'll catch you guys in the next one.